And we are back with another Black Window Cream Morning Rose podcast episode. I'm your host, Ben Haggerty, a.k.a. Ben Real vs. World. If you are new to the midweek Morning Roast episodes, let me explain what you're about to dip into. The goal of the Morning Roast is to provide you with some midweek motivation and help you kill the game even more than you already are. We do these every Wednesday. I myself have been lucky enough to find some mild success in my career, but it was a long journey to get to this point and I've learned a lot. So not only am I trying to provide some tips and pointers, I'm also trying to wake y'all the fuck up and give you mad shortcuts so you can dodge some of the mistakes I made and turn your shit all the way up to 10. Real quick, I just want to give a big shout out to all of our Black Window Cream members who competed in our first ever Black Window Cream contest. This past weekend, we completed the 48-hour one-take challenge partnering with our friends over at Epidemic Sound. We basically picked 10 songs for each contestant to choose from and gave them the challenge of conceptualizing, shooting, and editing a video in just one take with no cuts in 48 hours. We have so many submissions. I've already started going through them and they are great. You guys killed this. Um, Everyone was able to submit something on time. That was fucking awesome. We will be announcing the winners on March 25th. The winners will be walking away with over $5,000 in prizes, which is fucking tight. Um, This was a great first contest for us, guys. We definitely learned a lot about hosting contests and I cannot wait to do more in the future. So keep an eye out for the winners and for future contests. That shit was dope. Lastly, before we get started with this morning roast, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's bought merch. Like a big shout out to all you guys. It, it means so much to us to see that shit being rocked everywhere. You're sending pictures from all over the world that wearing the shit or holding the mug or having a hat on or whatever. Like that's fucking awesome. So big shout out to all you guys. If you want to support us and pick anything up in the store, you know where to get it. Shop BWNC.com. Go there, snag some merch. If you want discounts to the gear, we're giving out discount codes to all of our Patreon supporters. Let's go to patreon.com slash black window cream. Um, yeah, thank you guys for your support. It keeps us alive. Um, we appreciate it. All right, that's it. Write down three takeaways that you get from this episode and send it to us on Black Window Cream's Instagram so we can see what you guys think about this episode. Enjoy the work week. Keep creating. Make sure to tune in every Wednesday and Sunday for a new Black Window Cream episode. And without further ado, I bring to you the most epic podcast intro ever created right motherfucking now. Attention. If you stop this podcast recording at any time, you will die. I don't want to die. Do you want to live? Yeah. You have 24 hours to share this podcast with five people or you will die. I'm kidding. You won't die. You're just weak shit for not sharing. And the winner of the best motherfucking podcast goes to... Goes to... Black with no cream. What do you think? It's so fucking dumb and so fucking Ben Haggerty. I knew you would say that. All right, so for today's morning roast, I want to talk about something that I think gets lost in a lot of people's mindset when it comes to trying to elevate their career and creating. In all the success stories that you hear in the podcast and many others about how people make it big, we all come to know that knowing the right people has a ton to do with the opportunities that you will get as a creator and the doors that will open for you. No one can doubt that. As much as that might suck sometimes to think about, it's true. Because of that, everyone is so thirsty to make connections with valuable people that will help them get to where they want to go in their career. Which, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. But you've heard me preach before about the importance of networking and building relationships over and over again on this podcast. It's so important. But here's the problem I want to bring up. Success in any field comes down to the, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to emphasize this word, It comes down to the relationships that you have with people in your network. I think in the shuffle of the word connections, it just gets misinterpreted and overvalued. There's a difference between connections and relationships. Real networking, the kind that will get you far as fuck, isn't about knowing someone or someone knowing who you are. It isn't about having their email or their contact info or having them follow you on Instagram. Real networking is about building legitimate relationships with people. The entire point of having a quote unquote connection in a lot of people's mind is that the more people that you are connected to, the more job opportunities that you will be offered and the more you'll be recommended for other jobs and the more that you'll be brought into the fold of projects and campaigns and all that shit. Am am I right? Am I steering in the right direction? Well, the truth is the people that are going to go to bat for you are the ones that genuinely like you and enjoy having you around. It's the people that want to see you succeed. So it's important to focus more on how you connect as a human with the people that you work with, even more so than other extremely important factors of success, like how hard you work or the product you provided. Remember this, likability will trump talent when talent is comparable. Any producer, exec, manager, 
you name it, will take you over a slightly or even moderately more talented person if you are more fun and enjoyable to work with. So much of the creative process is collaborative, if not at all. That means the chemistry of the team is crucial to the success of the project. When you have to spend 15 hours a day with someone working on something creative, it definitely is important for you to like that person. Here's a huge tip. The best relationships are often formed by connecting with someone in ways that are completely irrelevant to actual work. It's about connecting to them person to person, not colleague to colleague. If you are constantly reaching out to someone and you are only asking about work or every time you talk to someone on set or on a project, it's about work or business, it's going to get hard to connect with someone on a real level. Focus and invest time into building solid relationships with the people that you work with. You want to get to know people. Where are they from? What do they like to do? Show interest in their personal life. Really, it just comes down to making friends and having experiences that extend beyond work. Seek to be a better friend than coworker and seek to be a positive and uplifting energy to the people that you work with. If you do that, I guarantee you the energy will come back to you. Doors will open and opportunities will arise because the people that you work with want you around and they want to work with you again. I mean, it also helps to flex and be a beast at your job too, but that's besides the point. Now, some of you might say, that's great, Ben, but how do I build relationships with so-and-so's manager that I don't even know, or I need to meet the right people to build relationships with them. Am I right? To that, I just want to drop this quote that my friend Robin Harper, Beyonce's photographer, he said said this on my podcast a while back, and I think it fits perfectly with this topic. What are three tips that you could give give photographers photographers struggling struggling to make power connections? connections. like, like you do with Beyonce, Beyonce. like I think like, like the idea of, of, of like making a power, power connection or making connections is like you're going about it backwards. Mm. You need to be the the best version of yourself. You need to be open to experiences. You need to be open to meeting new people, and through that just sort of general way of living, I think you will end up in a circle of people that you're meant to be in, where you guys can all grow together. You know, you know that's, that's how I got in with Beyonce. Beyonce. It was not because I was trying to meet her or wanted to work with her, or needed to work with a big celebrity. It's because I was assisting this photographer and we were just like, cool. We had a great relationship and he liked the way that I did things and it made him comfortable enough to um, like trust you, to suggest, suggest you. you. Yeah, exactly. Be yourself. Right. And be like the best version of that. Boom. I couldn't have said it any better. Don't worry so much about trying to stretch yourself to make connections with people that don't come organically. Focus on developing real relationships with the people that are in your immediate network and allow that and your hard work to drive towards the path that you are meant to go on. On that path, you will meet the people that you are supposed to meet and develop real relationships with them that will take you even farther. You will be surprised to find out that you are closer to being connected to who you want to meet than you think when people recommend you or talk about you positively. Above all, Focus on being the best person that you can be with everyone that you encounter in your work. When you pair that mentally with a real killer work ethic, consistency, reliability, and a great artistic product, you will fucking win. I promise you that. All right, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, Don't forget to pick up some Black Window Cream merch and help us keep this podcast alive. Shop BWNC.com. Keep creating, and uh, we will see you on uh, Sunday. All right, dope. Have a good week. You bitch. bitch, 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 bitch.